Look at the size of those fenders. No wonder you want to rent them. They're enormous fenders. Wow. Big horse, big horse. Uh, <laughs> you're a very funny man. <laughs> Hola, buenos dias. I'm Cheryl Shard. My husband Paul and I are home editing and isolating in Canada. This episode was filmed before the pandemic. If you're thinking of taking your boat from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean through the Panama Canal, we created this video to show you what's involved. It's the first in a series about what you need to do to prepare your boat for a canal transit, what it costs, where best to prepare, and who you can get to help you navigate the necessary paperwork and required inspections. In later videos, we'll take you through the canal and show you the required procedures for cruising boats, plus some boat handling techniques for safely transiting this impressive and historic canal. The Panama Canal is 44.3 miles in length and joins the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean at this narrow isthmus between North and South America. It takes two days for a typical cruising yacht to do the transit. One night is spent on a mooring in Gatun Lake. So a shift over to our proper dock, We've got a strong stern wind of 15 or 18 perhaps. We begin our adventure in Panama at Shelter Bay Marina on the Atlantic coast where we're moving the boat from the reception dock. Information please. Information, yeah? We arrived here last night and will now settle into a guest berth while we prepare for the canal transit. Crew members Keith, Lorena and Peter sailed offshore with us from the Bahamas to Panama, spending six and a half days and nights sailing almost a thousand miles across rolly seas. There is our sister ship Carid. Carid is a variable draft southerly 480 sailboat. Hello Carid! It's the same as our boat, Distant Shores 3. We left England a year and a half ago and sailed transatlantic together. Now we just have to back in. Just have to back in now. And, uh, it's a nice wide spot, so it should be easy. The problem is, again, the problem is taking the boat this way, so... Just need to spin around, and then we can pull the stern in easily with the prop walk on this side. Hello, Rob. We meet again in interesting places. And could you watch that corner just yeah. with the boat hook? Is, and, yeah. <laughs> you can't help but like Dock Master Eddie Vega. He met us at 11.30 last night and right. helps us with a smile this morning. Backing into the wind is usually easier because the sailboat always wants to put its bow downwind. So if we were doing this the other way around, it would need a lot more. So Ten no problem. Six feet. Six feet. Five, four, three, seven. Anyway, but yeah, no problem. I'm not. Uh, he's giving <laughs> you metric, guys. You're just so precise. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Since I am not good with my ankle. So good to see you. Better on the mend. So good to see you again. This time, Panama. <laughs> Making friends around the world is one of the joys of the cruising life. Thank you for your help. Oh, yes, I just wanted to. Uh, we also are... meet up with our agent, Roy Bravo, of Emanuel Agencies, who handles our paperwork for clearing in with customs and immigration. He'll also be managing the paperwork for our canal transit, boat inspection, and providing us with the required equipment for the transit. If we needed additional crew for line handling, he could provide that too. You don't need an agent. You can do all this yourself. And uh, we've got links below for some great videos, including Malin here on Ran Sailing and uh, also Nikki on Gone with the Winds, and they both did excellent videos on how to do the process yourself. We thought it'd be more fun if we would have an agent, uh, they would do the job, and then we could spend time out filming in the jungle. Now might be a good time to talk about what the costs are for taking a cruising boat through the Panama Canal, as well as the cost of hiring an agent and how to find one. The costs are easy to find on the internet, 
and you can get quotes from any of the agents in Panama, as I did from Roy before arriving. The highest cost is the toll for the canal, which is $1,600 U.S. dollars for our 48-foot sailboat, the new rate for 2020. But there are many other fees for inspections and so on. An agent handles the payment of all fees, so you just pay one invoice before your canal transit, and most accept bank transfers so you don't have to handle cash. Noonsight.com, run by the World Cruising Club, is a great place to start. I then went to a number of cruising forums, recommended cruising guides, and cruising Facebook groups. I'll give the links in the description. And I also spoke to cruising friends with a lot of experience with canal transits and to team members of the World Cruising Club. That's how we found Roy Bravo. What time you resume in the following day and what time you complete? Great. Shelter Bay Marina is a very secure and affordable marina and is considered one of the best places in Panama to prepare for a canal transit. You can anchor outside, but after a passage, it's nice to enjoy the amenities here, including a good restaurant. Octopus carpaccio, which means it's raw, I think. Is that what carpaccio means? I think it smells cooked, but... Okay. Have it go. I have a... Uh, so Rob, you're having it too, adventurous types. How is it? Oh wow, delicious. What's on it? Some kind of vinaigrette? Yeah, vinaigrette I guess, it's kind of mild. Tentacles, delicious. It's Valentine's Day, and after being at sea for a week, we're ready to celebrate. Happy Valentine's Day. We're in Panama at the Marina, Shelter Bay Marina, and they've just brought all the ladies' roses. How great is that? Things move fast, and the next day, our ad measure inspection takes place. An official measurement of the boat must be taken to determine fees and to position us properly in the locks amidst other yachts and ships. I emailed our documents to our agent Roy ahead of time so he was able to schedule the inspection promptly for the day after our arrival. We have to answer a lot of questions. Yes. yes. AIS? Yes. 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 Class B. Also rudder indicator? Yes. Toilet? Nice, huh? Ladies on board. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, required water. by ladies. <laughs> mineral water you have or you have to buy? When we I say mineral water, I'm talking about uh, water... Uh, for drinking. For, uh, not really for drinking. Sealed. We're also given a certificate with our new ship's identification number, which is good for the life of the yacht and must be displayed in the navigation station. But we're excited. Ships. We're excited about it. Yes, we're ready you for are, everything. Enjoy your transit. Enjoy your Thank transit. You. Thank okay. you. See you. Thank you, Hello. Amir. Yes. <laughs> Thank See you. you. Have a good weekend. Same to you. So, how are you well, feeling? Ex I am excited about this. We've Love doing all kinds of locks, and these are the best, ex most amazing locks in the world, obviously the biggest. And we're very excited to be uh, going through the Panama Canal. And we're all official now. <laughs> it's time to get off the boat, stretch our legs, and explore our surroundings. And we're in for a treat. Shelter Bay Marina is located on an old U.S. Navy base, now turning to jungle, which is full of interesting wildlife. What are you seeing? Capuchin. It's a capuchin monkey just up above us. watch as one after another jump across our trail. And the nests of these weaver birds are like nothing we've ever seen before. How many birds are in there?
howler monkey lets us get quite close. The whole experience makes us want to learn more. We've got some Atlantic bubbles to celebrate a really great voyage with all of you. Peter and Lorena are heading to Panama City today, Keith tomorrow. He's going next door actually. He's not leaving. He's not leaving. We'll see you again. Thank you guys so much for everything. It's been wonderful having you aboard. Perfect. So next time we come, we don't have to submit a CV? No, 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 you don't. <laughs> Welcome. Real Atlantic bubbles. Oh, that's very, <laughs> very appropriate. Yeah. You saw a lot of Atlantic bubbles on that cruise. Yes, <laughs> yes, we did. What will you remember most about the trip? Oh, those big waves. <laughs> <laughs> and the landscape was really beautiful. Uh, yeah. I'll miss it. How about you, Keith? I, I'm going to go in a different direction. New friends. Uh, oh, friends. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Here's to that. New friends. I agree with Keith. New friends. Oh, good. You've been very nice. Yeah. And the passage I, it was great. Difficult, but it was interesting for me to see if I could manage it. Apparently, I survived. You can, you can, <laughs> with a smile on your face the whole time. Yeah. Slightly well, sweet, which is really nice. To here's to more voyages together. Join us next time as we further explore the jungle ruins of Fort Sherman, have more wildlife encounters, do a river trip up the Chagres and prepare a new crew for a first-time transit of the Panama Canal.